All right, let's go ahead and do the uh, derivative of the hyperbolic cosine. So d dx of cosh x equals sinh x. So it's not a uh, negative sinh x as you might expect uh, because that's, you know, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. But for hyperbolic functions, uh, it's a little bit different. So uh, let's go ahead and work this out. So uh, d dx of cosh x equals d dx of e to the x plus e to the negative x all over 2. Okay, because uh, that's what cosh x is. That's the hyperbolic cosine of x. It's defined to be this uh, right here. So let's go ahead and uh, work with this. So dividing everything by 2, that means we're multiplying everything by a half. So let's just pull the 1 half out because it's just a constant. Uh, and remember, constants can be pulled out of derivatives. So what we have now is 1 half times d dx of e to the x plus e to the negative x. All right. So uh, now we differentiate term by term. So the 1 half is still there. Okay. Now we have a d dx of the first term. Okay, d dx of e to the x we know is just e to the x. All right. And then what happens next? Uh, now we've got to do the chain rule again. Pretty much just like uh, in the last video when we did the derivative of hyperbolic sine. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the same thing, but the only difference now is uh, before we had a minus sign here, but now we have a plus. Uh, that's pretty much the only difference. But anyway, um, we want to take the derivative of e to the negative x. So the chain rule, remember the chain rule tells us uh, derivative of e to a thing is just e to that thing times the derivative of that thing. All right. So uh, derivative of e to the negative x is just e to the negative x times the derivative of uh, negative x, which is just negative 1. So this is what we have here. Um, so then when we simplify, we get 1 half times e to the x plus e to the negative x times negative 1. That means minus e to the negative x. So uh, another way to write that is like this e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2. Uh, and that is the hyperbolic sign, uh, singe of x. All right? And that's the proof uh, that the derivative of hyperbolic cosine is equal to the hyperbolic sign.